nine vaccinated. The rest of the adults in our family, we've gotten vaccinated, but for him, it, it's just scary. Even with COVID cases soaring in Central Virginia, moms Kayla Williams and Dawn Cross just aren't 100% comfortable with their young kids getting a COVID vaccine. I was worried about how she would, um, how she would be able to. Um, handle it if there was going to be any side effects for her. He has nonverbal autism and we're just on the fence right now whether to get him vaccinated or not, especially with the side effects, especially even with the long-term side effects. Nobody knows anything. The moms are not alone. Take a look at these numbers from the Virginia Department of Health. They show the percentage of children fully vaccinated in three different age groups. As you can see, the 5 to 11-year-olds have the lowest rate of vaccination by far, with just 20 21% fully vaccinated. Dr. Tiffany Kimbrough with the Children's Hospital of Richmond at VCU has some idea of why that might be. Parents with young kids are hearing that kids are mostly doing well. So understanding the importance for vaccinating that age group has been one of the things that pediatricians like myself are really trying to hammer home. Dr. Kimbrough says she understands parents' hesitations, but she believes the vaccine is safe for children ages 5 to 11. Um, and we've been now vaccinating millions of kids to date and we aren't seeing large-scale issues. The myocarditis rate is really low in this age group, not not even higher than what we would expect in general population, and we aren't seeing other issues for them. Being able to get pregnant is another thing parents tell me that they're worried about, especially for their young girls, um, and so we aren't seeing any issues related to pregnancy or to fetal losses for pregnant people who get vaccinated. She had her six-year-old vaccinated, and she hopes other parents will do the same. We, we do see kids mostly do well, but some kids don't, and we don't always have good predictors on who those children are. So healthy kids can end up in the hospital and with complications from COVID. And so it's still really important that we vaccinate this age group, and so that also will help us to reduce community spread as well. Now, health officials reminded me that the 5 to 11 age group was the most recent age group to become eligible to get vaccinated, and that be, may be another contributing factor to why so few of them are fully vaccinated so far.